Hi, I'm Rachel, and welcome to my channel, La Bricka Luz, where I share tips, techniques, and book recommendations from over 25 years working as a costume craftsperson. Esparteri, also known as Spartra or Willow, is a millinery material of almost mythic proportion. Every milliner has heard of it. A lucky few have worked with it or learned millinery from someone who did. It's a bygone foundation material, a sculptural medium for creating or copying extant forms, and something from which temporary hat blocks were once made. Espartery has long been a research interest of mine, ever since I heard about it in my first millinery class in 1992. If this is the first you've heard of it, if you're curious and want to learn more about Espartery itself, pause this video and check out this recording of a conference presentation I gave in 2020 called Madame Sheeta's Esparteri. The Reader's Digest version is, I came into possession of 77 sheets of it from the estate of a 20th century West End milliner, Ada Riddle. In this video, though, I'm assuming you've heard of Esparteri, perhaps even have a sheet or two of it and you're looking for resources with more information. I've pored over dozens of vintage and antique millinery manuals to find the three best reference books in English on techniques and methods for working with this rarest of hat-making materials. The first title is From the Neck Up, An Illustrated Guide to Hat-Making by Denise Dreyer. This book is the required textbook for the graduate level course I teach in theatrical millinery at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. It's a comprehensive text that covers all aspects of making hats for the stage, and it's worth owning for many other reasons beyond its sections on working with a spartery, which Dreyer refers to exclusively by the term willow. It's clear that a spartery was already scarce when Dreyer wrote the book because she advises the reader not to use it as a flat pattern foundation material or a blocking material, but to conserve it to use exclusively as a material shaped in the hand, free form. She goes on to talk about the material's properties and specific techniques for working with it, how to activate the willow with moisture or steam without damaging it, how to patch a torn area, a seaming technique called a skinned join, and how to wire its two-ply edge. All this information fills about five pages of her book, pages which are eight and a half by 11 in size, and printed with two columns, and includes a few black and white photographs. Unfortunately, because the book is printed on inexpensive cardstock, the image quality isn't great. Nevertheless, if you have a precious sheet of espartery and want to read up on it before experimenting with it, Dreyer's book is a great reference. Eve Boret's How to Make Hats is the second useful title. It features a 17-page chapter called Tackling Espartery and Shape Making. Boret covers essentially much of the same ground Denise Dreyer does, and not as clearly or concisely. But I mention her book because it has an excellent hand-drawn illustration of a skinned join, which makes it much clearer than the description and blurry photography in the Dreyer text. A Textbook of Model Millinery by Ethel Langridge is the third title I recommend. It includes a 10-page chapter entitled A Spartary Work, Including Shape Making full of detailed, hand-drawn illustrations concerning a process called taking the print of a block or hat. This involves using the espartery, or as language calls it, the spartra, to make a topographical copy of an existing hat or block in order to create replicas of it or commission a wood block copy. The book includes a decent black and white photo depicting examples of these espartery hat prints. Langridge has stitched them in contrasting thread to better illustrate the type and size of stitches used in reinforcement sections. A couple more honorable mentions of supplementary titles. In Studio Secrets Millinery by Estelle Ramousset and Fabienne Gambrell, 
There's no specific documentation of Espartri work, but there are some beautiful full-color photographs of the surviving Espartri blocks in the studio of Madame Gallanter, a Parisian milliner who's been in business for decades. There are also some photos of Espartri shapes in Elena Carati's book, Philip Tracy, which features text in both English and Italian. And those are my recommendations for the best books for learning techniques of working with Espartri, aka Spartra or Willow.